this is Kasturi Day. Today I am going to uh, discuss again the question answer series of this uh, sound chapter according to ICC syllabus class 8. Okay, So I was discussing in my last video the short and long question and answers. So I will continue with that. So first question for today uh, I am going to start with name the unit in which the loudness of the sound is expressed. It is expressed in decibels. Then why is the loudness of sound heard by a plucked wire increased when mounted on a sound board? See, when the strings are made up of, uh, made to vibrate, the strings which are present on the uh, sound board, they are made to vibrate by plucking, okay? Now the vibrations get transferred to the hollow sound box. Okay, the box, uh, the sound board, they have a box in it, hollow box and this vibrations get transferred into the hollow sound box and due to this, the large volume of air which is present in the box is also set into vibration. It starts vibrating to produce a loud sound. Larger is the surface area of the air in the sound box, larger will be the sound produced. So, the box uh, which is present in the sound board the box the hollow box okay when the strings which are attached to the sound board they are vibrated the uh, vibrations get transferred into the sound box where there is the hollow uh, the where the uh, in which the air is present air column is present okay and that starts vibrating Okay, what happens, lar the more the air uh, present, the more is the air present in that box, the more, uh, I mean the larger will be the sound produced. Okay, now the state three factors in which, on which loudness of sound heard by a listener depends. It depends on the amplitude of the wave, that is loudness is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude. Okay, then on the distance of the source of the sound, that is uh, loudness is inversely proportional to the distance, square of the distance and on the surface area of the vibrating body, that is uh, uh, loudness is directly proportional to the surface area. Okay, that means that uh, when the amplitude is increased by twice, uh, I mean it increases by increased by two times, the loudness will increase by four times. Okay, when the distance of the sound increases by two times, loudness will decrease by four times. Okay, and then when the surface area increases by two times, it's doubled, the surface area is doubled, loudness will also get doubled. Okay, now what determines the pitch of the sound? Frequency. Okay, frequency is directly proportional to the pitch. The more is the pitch, the frequency will be more or the frequency more, pitch will be more. Name the characteristics of the sound related to its frequency. That's the pitch. Okay, then name uh, and define the characteristics which enables one to distinguish sounds of the same loudness but of different frequencies given by the same instrument that is the pitch. It is the characteristics of the sound that differentiates an uh, acute or shrill sound from a flat sound. Okay. Now draw a diagram to show the wave pattern of a high pitch note and a low pitch note but of the same loudness. See, the first one is a low pitch note. See, the uh, frequency it, uh, it is 1 per second. Okay. See, this is the graph which is representing a low pitch sound. Okay. Now, in this, the, uh, uh, this wave is, uh, is uh, it is not so close. The waves, the crest and troughs are not so close. But in the high pitch sound, the crest and troughs, they are very uh, close. Lots of uh, uh, crest and troughs are formed in one per second. Okay. This is the high pitch sound uh, and the low pitch sound graph difference. Okay. Next, we come to the standing at a distance. How is it possible to detect the filing of a bucket, filling of a bucket, sorry, filling of a bucket under a water tap by hearing the sound? Okay. 
see as the water fills up the air column or the amount of air inside the bucket that decreases okay so as a result the pitch or the shrillness of the sound will increase as the sound column i mean air column decreases the pitch of the sound increases the shrillness increases as the frequency the pitch of the sound is inversely proportional to the length of the vibrating column okay frequency or pitch is inversely proportional to the length of the vibrating column that is if the length decreases pitch will increase if the length increases pitch will decrease okay so um the amplitude or the loudness of the sound will decrease okay so that means the pitch will uh, increase air column decreases loudness will also decrease okay i mean uh, amplitude will also decrease as the amount of air column vibrating uh, air column which is vibrating decreases as the bucket is filling up then so with the increase in the shrillness of the sound we can uh, detect that the filling up of the uh, we can uh, tell that the bucket is being filling up is uh, being filled up so the more the shrillness the more the bucket has been filled when the bucket uh, overflows the shrill sound will be heard no more okay now next is the frequencies of the notes given by a flute guitar or and a trumpet are respectively 400 hertz that is flute is 400 hertz guitar is 200 hertz hertz and trumpet is 500 hertz then which one of these has the highest pitch the trumpet okay because more is the frequency more will be the pitch then in the given figure two jars a and b containing water up to the different heights which will produce sound of higher pitch when air is blown in them the b b1 will produce a higher pitch because the air column here has decreased is less amount of air column is in this b uh, b jar okay so the pitch will be more then two identical guitars are placed by two persons to give notes of the same pitch will they differ in quality give reasons for your answer see no two musical instruments of the same pitch have the same quality because the pitch depends on the frequency or the wavelength and the quality depends on the waveform upon the number or relative intensities of the different harmonics hence the two notes are not of the same quality okay then two musical notes of the same pitch and same loudness are played on two different instruments the wave patterns will be given in this form see first is the violin which will be in this way and in for the piano this will be this uh, it, it is a wavy form slightly wavy form then how do they differ in loudness pitch and quality for loudness both will be the same for pitch again both will be the same only they will differ in quality okay next is which characteristic of the sound makes it possible to recognize a person by his voice without seeing him before that is timbre and pitch timbre that is quality of the sound and the pitch shrillness or uh, flat sound then state the factors that determine the pitch of a note that is frequency the loudness of the sound heard that is amplitude and the quality of the note that is waveform okay name the characteristic of the sound affected due to the change in its amplitude loudness again waveform quality frequency is the pitch then the given figure shown uh, shows for four waves a b c and d see the first wave a1 c b is this one c d okay name the wave which shows a note from a musical instrument it is the d1 the soft note is a1 okay then uh, a shrill note that is the c1 okay shrill note having more frequency so the uh, crests and troughs will be very closer next is how is the pitch of the sound in a guitar changed if a thin wire is used 
Okay, if a thin wire is used, then higher pitch is obtained. If a wire under less tension is used, then a lower pitch will be obtained. Okay, name three animals who use ultrasonic waves. Explain at least one animal which has ultrasonic waves. See, three animals are dogs, bats and dolphins who uses this ultrasonic waves. Okay, and one animal uh, description is this dogs, they can hear up to the frequency of 40,000 hertz. Okay, as compared to the humans, humans can only hear up to 20,000 hertz, but dogs can hear up to the frequency of 40,000 hertz. Now, dogs can be specifically trained to respond to a whistle which produces ultrasonic vibrations and that is known as Galton whistle that can hear the Galton whistle sound. This sound of uh, this sound of this whistle cannot be heard by the humans. So, they can use this ultrasonic vibrations. Okay, then define monta uh, uh, monotone property. A continuous, it is, uh, uh, it is a continuous sound, especially someone's voice. Okay, that does not rise and fall in pitch. That is a sound of single frequency. Okay, that is the sound of single frequency is known as monotone. Okay, so I'll, start here. I'll continue with the rest of the question answers in my next video. Uh, please go through this. Hope you are liking the videos. Press the like button and do subscribe so that uh, you can get the notification of my next video. And also it will produce me some energy to produce you some more uh, interesting videos. Okay, and... Uh, um, I have started, see, you, uh, you can see my uh, uh, playlist or you can see my videos where I have started my uh, do you know videos, some science facts videos, okay. And I will be launching soon uh, uh, this uh, website, okay, which will contain more of the information of your subjects as well as also different other subjects and interesting facts will also be there. So, please wait for that and if you have any doubt, please do write in the comment box, okay. And how you are liking the videos, you, are, you can give suggestions also to improve my videos or you can give some other suggestions. If you want some other videos on any subjects to be launched, uh, that can also be written in my uh, comment box, okay. So, thank you for watching.